Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our traction control in our PC Link software. So we're gonna be finding, we're gonna wire in wheel speed sensors to our link. We're gonna have a driven sensor and an undriven sensor. Now with having that information, we can provide the link, we can calculate a slip difference between the driven and undriven. So if we get into a situation where we start to lose traction, our driven speed will be faster than our undriven speed. And then that's going to have a, an allowable difference or a slip percent. And then we can put a threshold or a maximum slip per gear in a table. And if we exceed that, then we're gonna be allowing the link to go in and start to cut our fuel or cut our ignition and pull ignition timing out to try to control the engine torque to get the power level under control to reduce the power then to go in and allow the vehicle to have our gain acceleration again based on our traction getting under control so we're going to be finding it's relatively simple to set this up it's actually really effective as well we're going to be walking you through a couple different scenarios and how to configure everything so that it's going to work properly on your vehicle so without further wait let's jump in so we can check this out Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our traction control in our PC Link software. We're going to be finding this is an awesome motorsport feature we can implement on a front-wheel drive or a real drive car where we're going to be comparing the driven and undriven wheel speeds. We can calculate a percentage slip, and then we can take action from there. If it oversteps a target table, it's going to pull timing. It could cut fuel or cut spark. We're going to have a whole bunch of choices we're we'll going to be taking a look at how everything is going to work and how we're going to be setting it up in this video. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a page dedicated for traction control. So I'm going to go right click here, new page. And I'm going to be typing in traction control, click OK. Now we're going to be finding our pages here. So the first couple things I want to talk about before we go in and do any specific things with traction control. In order to implement traction control, we have to have a driven and undriven wheel speed wired into our link. So that's going to be the bare minimum. Um, if we're front wheel drive, we're going to be finding that we have our front wheel speed sensor is our, uh, our driven wheel speed sensor and our back wheel speed sensor is going to be our undriven. And on a real drive car, it's going to be opposite. And in an all wheel drive car, we would want all four wheel speeds to be wired in. Um, the traction control can still work in all wheel drive. It's just not as effective as it can be with a front wheel drive or real drive car. So in order to make this work, um, Let's jump under ECU settings here. We are going to have to have a driven and undriven wheel speed. So in the previous video on the launch control, we added in our ground speed. So now we're gonna be ready to add in our driven speed. So the process is gonna be the same. If we click uh, that D11, that's gonna be where I have my vehicle speed input wired into under function here. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna be looking here and I'm gonna be picking where I've wired it to. So the uh, rear wheel speed on my front wheel drive car was wired into the right rear. I'm gonna be wiring my uh, driven speed into my left front. So we're gonna be grabbing it right here, left front, and click OK. Now on the label here, I'm gonna be calling this driven speed. And pull up resistor will leave off. Calibration, it's gonna be at zero right now. We're gonna quickly take a look at calibrating this. So let's jump into F12, and we're gonna be jumping into digital, and we're gonna be seeing that digital 11 now is called driven speed. We also can see the frequency here, and it's gonna be zero right now. Let's spin the wheel and see what happens. So we start to spin the wheel. We can see that it's going to change. We can see that that goes from off to active. So we know it is wired and it's working. So the next step here is going to be designating the speed source. So ECU settings here, let's minimize that. Let's jump into chassis and body. Let's go down here to speed sources, double click that. So the driven wheel speed source, we're going to be setting this on LF, or left front wheel speed, in my case. And we're going to click OK. Now, we were previously talking um, about when we were looking at the, or talking about the all-wheel drive setup, where we were looking at the driven and non-driven wheel speed.